so before that okay already we have started the means we have completed the chapter 7th now we will go to the chapter 9th that is discount and commission so let me share my screen give me one minute Can you see my screen now? Okay, that's good. So let's start with this chapter, discount and commission. Okay. So uh, uh, you might have heard about this thing like discount whenever you go to the shopping mall or any any business centers where you want to buy something you will see this term discount and everyone is looking for such type of discounts so this is very favorite words for the shopping uh, people uh, because it, it it is good for us so there are two peoples always one is customer like us and one is vendor right so vendor and customer customer so vendor sells his goods like uh, he 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 or she so they they try to sell their uh, objects or things and customer purchase this so vendor sales and customer purchases right so um, uh, i will i will explain in marathi also so vendor is means vikreta sales is selling the object so vikreta tanche objects sell kartat kiwa viktat ani customer manje grahak te vikat getat so vendor always sell at some price and customer uh, purchases at some cost okay so there is always a difference so whatever the difference is called discount so i know that it's a bit uh, difficult to understand this uh, phenomena or uh, this term uh, so let's move to uh, some problems so that we will be clear uh before going that um, have you ever learned about this thing like percentage can you type in the chat box have you, have you learned about uh, percentage thing good so uh, let's revise it then also uh so let's go to 4% of 300 what is mean by 4% of 300 so what will be the uh, first uh, sorry okay so we will get the answer directly because this is just revised revision so 4% comes as 4 by 100 That is four percent. What will be the answer then? Can you type in chat box? Twelve. Yeah, it's good. So, so all are very good aware about this subject percentage. That's good. so answer is 12 so 4% of 300 gives us 
well similarly 15 percent of 700 is what is the answer can you type in chat box Ten percent of seventeen hundred. What is the answer? Can you type in chat box? Okay, people are writing 255. That's good. Okay, so answer is 255. So now you know the percentage very well. So let's move to the next topic. So 15% Satrashi Chilkidiota, Dunche Pansan. So okay. So let's move to the next thing. Before that, I will clear it this. Sorry. So you can see the picture, right? That it's monsoon sale up to 50% or 20%. There are such defaults. Advertisements going on around us. Acha pragar chhada advertisement apan bhaktots. Tar acha advertisement me dalili lasta ki discount is offered on various goods. So here, this is one of the example where they have put this advertisement. Month of July for the sales of clothes are declared or find and discuss. So let's discuss about what is meant by this sales and what is meant by discount. So this is one example. So uh, this discount and uh, uh, percentage and then the commission, these are very important topic. So if you go tomorrow uh, to the, any company, so uh, how much discount we should offer, right? You, you will be on the other side. You will be on not in customer side, but you will be uh, uh, you you will decide that how much discount we should offer to the customer. तो मैं मोट मोटा कंपनी तक गया तर तुम्हारा हे सर वो मैनेजमेंट बस वाव लगेगी कि वहाँ से कैलकुलेशन कराव लगेगी कि अपन ये वाले डिस्काउंट दिला तेरी अपन ये वाले ग्राहक का अनुशक्तो अनि ते हमले अपने कंपनी ला प्रॉफिट हो शक्तो तो त्या कैलकुलेशन साथी अशे डिस्काउंट यहाँ कुछ तो खूब इम्पोर्टेंट पड़ता है, सो डिस्काउंट इज़ अलसो वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग टू लर्न एंड ओके, सो लेट्स सी व्हाट इज़ मीन बाय डिस्काउंट, सो मिस्टर सुरेश आउंस अ सारी शॉप, द डिटेल्स ऑफ सेल्स ऑफ सारीज़ एंड प्रॉफिट अन इन गिवन इन द पॉलिंग टेबल, सो लेट्स सी द uh, different saris and let's see in the table so we can see in the june the cost price was 200 and selling price 250 and profit in each sari is 50 rupees so cost of the sari cost means how much he has invested to get that sari so um, suresh has uh, given 200 rupees to get that one sari and he sold at 250 so profit is 50 so if you compare so here selling price is more than cost price so i will write it here selling price is more than cost so what is this called profit Okay, so selling price minus cost becomes profit. So what is profit he earned? 50. If he has sold this sari at uh, 
less than 200 somewhere around 180 or 150 then it would it would have been loss for him so this is not the good business right good business should earn some profit or no profit no loss that can be one term but uh, if he wants to earn profit this is the thing that he should sell the goods or sari at more price than 200 or cost price so uh, how many saris he sold 40 so total profit it's 2000 for the month of june similarly in july uh, he has provided some discount to the uh, customer and uh, he sold uh, he sold sari at 230 and profit on his sari is 30 where he sold 100 sari so total profit is 300 so what is what we can see from the table that in july though he sold each sari at the lesser price right then also total profit is more so this is the calculations we have to do in, in advance before offering any discounts so he has offered here discount right so so actually the sari's price is 250 right but he has sold at 230 so he has given discount of 20 rupees right rupees 20 so he has given discount of 20 rupees as compared to month of june so this way he has given discount and he has uh, attracted more customer and he got more profit so this is general strategy for any company to provide a discount attract more customers and get a uh, more profit but sometimes it backfires also so if you have provided the more discount then also there may not be so many uh, customer or may not be number of saris has increased then there will be bit less profit than earlier month it happens so uh, we have to like uh, when once you grow up uh, like uh, in your career and then uh, you you are the sales manager at uh, uh, when uh, a any company so you have to do all this type of calculation uh, tomorrow uh, at, at at any any point of time so you should know these fundamentals like what is mean by selling price what is mean by cost what is mean by discount okay and how how these profits are calculated how to uh, get these values so yeah so this is the discount so discount is nothing but uh, whatever the uh, less price as compared to your selling price it's a discount so let's move to the next stuff sorry so they have given the explanation let's read it each item to be sold has a price tag right so each item to be sold a has a price tag right so that is called mark price so you might have seen on any any uh, object or anything which you you are going to buy so you will see the mrp so that is mark retail price so this is not the actual selling price right so this is marked or sometimes it's called maximum retail price also but this is the price it is always printed on any uh, object to be sold so konti man vastu vikaychi asel tar tavar hi price lelele aste mrp so and uh, on the uh, always like uh, they do not sell at the same price sometimes they sell at the same price or sometimes they sell at a uh, uh, selling price right so whatever the selling price whatever the selling price is there so mark price minus discount so always ask for the discount whatever the price you see on the object uh, 
विकत घ्यायला जाता तर त्याच्यावर नेहमी मार्क प्राईज असते सर नेहमी वी शुड आस्क फॉर द डिस्काउंट इफ यू गेट सम डिस्काउंट देन दॅट विल बी द सेलिंग प्राईज सपोज यू गो टू द शॉप अँड यू ट्राय टू बाय बिस्किट बिस्किट ऑफ रुपीज मार्क प्राईज इज एम आर पी इज ऑलवेज रुपीज ट्वेंटी and if you ask them that uh, whether you can offer discount okay you you ask uh, vendor then he provided okay you can give 2 rupees as a discount so what is the selling price selling price is 20 minus 2 is equal to 18 so rupees 2 is discount i know rupees 2 is very uh, less to see that okay rupees 2 is nothing but you you got a discount right so similarly if you go to buy a fridge and the mark price is somewhere uh, 10000 rupees okay and uh, you want to buy it and um, discount is offered around 2000 rupees right so your selling price is 10000 minus 2000 that is 8000 so this 2000 is discount for you so always see that what discount we can get that is always profitable for us right so this way uh, discount is uh, termed or discount is defined so but uh, generally means we know that we are calculated now that uh, it's in 2000 or 2 rupees but generally it is in discount uh, is given in terms of percentage it's not always uh, percentage but but most of the times you will see the offers or uh, advertisement that 20% discount 30% discount 50% discount okay so if it is written that 20% discount right it always it always that mark price to be reduced by 20% okay so let's see how 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 does it goes so if 20% discount is advertised then it is always always that item should be sold by reducing mark price by 20% what does it mean suppose uh, there is item where mark price is 100 rupees 100 and the discount is given as rupees 20 so what is selling price selling price is 80 okay in such a transaction uh, discount is offered in x percentage right so let's see how, how okay so uh, now before going there i will ask you one thing so uh, suppose there is uh, one uh, one thing like tv okay so if we want to buy a tv at rupees 32000 and the discount offered is discount offered is only 7% so can you uh, write down the selling price please write in the chat box okay so tv has a mark price of rupees 32 32000 okay and the discount offer is 7% so what will be the value of selling price of that tv can you write in chat box
So 32,000 is MRP and uh, discount is 7%. So there are different answers are coming. So please check your calculations. So there are Thirty one nine nine three two two four zero. There are different answers. Okay, I think uh, there is one question. I, I will I will get back to that question. First, we will try to solve this. So, rupees thirty two thousand MRP and discounted seven percent. So, what is the answer? So always uh, uh, don't don't uh, try to get the answer uh, uh, whatever the things you you know. So go step by step. That always I am telling you guys. So thirty. So what will be the discount? It is seven percent, right? It is not given in uh, value. So discount is how to calculate discount? You know. So on mark price. So thirty. 2000 into 7 percent so what is the value for this 2240 yeah that's correct so that is a discount offer okay in rupees but what is selling price we should always look for selling price. So that is 32,000 minus 2240, right? So what is the answer? 29760, okay? So I asked specifically not discount, but what is the selling price? So what are the discount you are getting? You should reduce it from the sell, uh, mark price, okay? So it, we will uh, get back to question asked by one student. So the question was, if number of sarees sold is 100, then how they multiplied 30 into 1,000? Okay, let's see. Oh. That's great observation, I can say. It should be 30 into 100 and 3000. So it should be 30 into 100 only. There is some mistake by uh, printing mistake. So just ignore that thing. And uh, you know that uh, number of saris sold is 100 and the profit on each sari is 30, then 30 into 1000 is 3000. Okay, so that's really good observation, and thank you for uh, uh, that uh, means hinting us and uh, providing the information to us. Okay, so let's move to the next thing. I think Pramod Pramod uh, has uh, pointed out this mistake in the uh, book. That's nice. Thank you. Okay, let's move to the next stuff. Okay, now we will solve this problem. If mark price is 3,600, 360, right? Okay, if a mark price of the book is 360, then the shopkeeper sold it for rupees three or six. And what is the percentage uh, discount did the shopkeeper give? Okay, let's let's try to see. Uh, so here we can see the 
okay this is a bit different question they have asked so here they have asked like mark price right this is mrp or mp what we call it in general term that is 360 the shopkeeper sold it for rupees 306 okay so uh, i sometimes call it as 306 so it means 306 okay so this is general american term where they uh, called zero as o so sometimes i may uh, call it as 306 so please ignore that uh, please take that as a zero so okay mark price is 360 and the uh, shopkeeper sold it at 306 i am trying to make it at zero so okay so 306 uh, how much percent discount did the shopkeeper give so we know the mark price that is rupees 360 then selling price is 306 so we know that discount is 360 minus 306 is equal to rupees 54 so it is upon about the game mark price 360 ahe and is selling price in chess ahe rupees in chess ahe mark the discount that you are up to the middle of it in chess art minus in chess ahe is equal to 54 so uh, on the mark price rupees 360 discount is 54 so let's uh, calculate in terms of percentage so we know the formula like discount divided by mark price is equal to x by 100 okay so always remember whenever we have to write this we should write in this fashion so that uh, we will be clear that what we are what the answer we are getting so discount divided by market mark price is equal to x by 100 discount divided by mark price is equal to x by 100 so we know that we will put the values like 54 divided by 360 is equal to x divided by 100 so x is equal to now we will take this 100 on this side like multiplying on the both side so we will get 54 into 100 divided by 360 that is 15 okay so on this uh, uh, for, for this problem the vendor has offered shopkeeper has offered is 15 percent discount okay so uh, so uh, means uh, yeah th this is the general formula we should uh, apply everywhere to calculate or to calculate anything into the percentage so there is another way also you you might have seen that discount divided by mark price into 100 it will give you directly in percentage okay so let's move to the next thing okay so here uh, there are two methods they have described so we will go one by one so let's see uh, I'll take some different color this time. OK, so mark price of the chair is 1200 and the discount is 10 percent. Calculate the discount and selling price. So now we have already uh, calculated for the one of the stuff like for the TV. Similarly, we will go here. We will see step by step how to do that thing. OK so let's start with the mark price so what is the mark price mark price kai delili hai rupees 1200 and discount kiti hai 10 percent okay let us find the ratio discount divided by mark price so we know the formula that uh, x divided by 1200 is equal to 10 because discount is not given in rupees it is given in the percentage so 10 divided by 100 and x divided by 1200 <laughs> sorry so what is x here so we we, we are multiplying both the side on the 1200 so we will get uh, this formula and uh, if we calculate everything what is x it's x is 120 what is x here in the discount so discount 
what we calculated is 120. So selling price is nothing but mark price minus discount. So I'll try to move this up. Okay. So selling price is nothing but mark price minus discount is equal to 1200 minus 120 gives us answer of 1080. So here we have seen the one method where we are directly uh, calculating from the discount, uh, like discount percentage and trying to get the values of discount in the rupees. And then we are trying to get the value of selling price. Similarly, they have given this different formulation where we can see the 10% discount, right? So 10% discount is given on mark price, right? Therefore, if the mark price is rupees 100, then selling price is rupees 90. So we know that 10% uh, discount means what? If there is 100 rupees, uh, uh, 100 rupees is uh, uh, mark price, then uh, we will get the uh, that thing in 90 rupees that is the general for anything so similarly we will calculate like uh, what is for 1200 so we will calculate from the here the, instead of 10 we are taking the 90 so here x is nothing but selling price x is no more discount here here we are calculating directly we are taking 10 10 percent of discount so it is discount here here we are trying to calculate selling price so 90 divided by 100 again uh, multiplying the both side by 1200 the side uh, what will be the value it's x is 1080 x is selling price so there are two ways to calculate the selling price or discount uh, if we know the person if we know the in percentage so one is we have seen this method where we are directly applying the discount of 10 percent and trying to calculate the discount first and then calculating the selling price there is another method where we are directly calculating the selling price first and then calculating the discount so you have seen the difference right so uh, in, in in if we want to calculate the discount first then we have to directly take a formulation of discount we do not have to uh, see that what will be the mark price then what we do not have to do some complicated things here like what we did here okay so it's up to you guys what what to calculate uh, first like discount or selling price but both way are right both ways are correct only thing uh, we should get the right answer okay so hopefully everything is good here any any uh, can you hear me right okay <coughs> sorry <coughs> okay and you can see my screen also right Uh, I'm just asking this question uh, repeatedly because I know that internet connections may not be so good on your side, on my side also there may be sometimes problem. So yeah, let's let's move to the next problem that is exercise three. Oh. Okay, so we'll go from here. So after giving discount of 20%, sari is sold at rupees 11.20. Find the mark price of the sari. Okay, so here what we know is, please, please, uh, uh, keep in mind that what question they have asked and what answer we have to give. 
So here they are asking for the mark price. They are not asking for the selling price or discount. So they have mentioned the discount is of 20% and sari is sold at 1120. So what we know, selling price, okay? Uh, so here uh, we know that a discount is of 20%. So what does it mean? So if, sorry, I think I should change the color. Okay. So discount is 20%. What does it mean? If I take anything for the rupees 100, selling price will be 80, right? Because of 20% discount. So we have seen the two method. First, we will calculate selling price or first we calculate discounts. So here we are trying to calculate selling price because we know selling price directly. After selling price might be the time upon selling price or root ne have problem solve karan the pred na karu. So then it is angi dela hai ki discount is 20 percent. Thar zar mark price shambar sale thar selling price anshi hai. Okay, hai ap dela ta mahi ta hai. So let's try to move and uh, try to solve this problem. So we know that 80 by 100 is selling price. But here, they have not given the mark price, right? Mark price. So selling price, we know. So we know this formula like 80 by 100 is equal to what? Selling price divided by mark price, right? So we know the selling price. That's you can see here 1120 and mark price is unknown here X. So we will try to calculate through multiplication and uh, divide rule. So here we can see the X becomes 1400. If we solve this, okay. So if you do all this multiplication and divide, then you will get the answer 1400. So uh, so this is the second method we tried and we tried to solve this problem. So let's go to the next problem. Okay. So what 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 is the uh, question we will ask? The shopkeeper decides to sell a certain item at a certain price, right? He marks the price of the item by increasing the decided price by 30%. While the selling the item, he offers 20% discount. Find how many percentage he gets more than the decided price, okay? So he, what he here shopkeeper decides to sell a certain item at a certain price. He marks the price of the item by increasing the decided price by 30% means he uh, increases the price by 30% and while the selling the item he offers 20% discount. So we might have seen that uh, that if any, any anything is there like if uh, sometimes shopkeeper or the sellers the does this type of tricks so any anything they will increase the price first and they will give us a discount so that you will find that oh it is discounted price and you will but this is that uh, item but actually he's earning some uh, profit there okay so let's see what what, what does it mean, mean by uh, overall this thing so shopkeeper decided to increase and uh, increase the price first so let's uh, see we will so whenever there is such type of thing like percentage always try to uh, if value is not given here right there is no value so try to uh, get the base number with respect to 100 so always think that okay mark price is 100 decided price is 100 try to assume that thing so it, it is good for uh any it's good and it's easy for any calculations so let's start so let's decided price is 100 so this is the thing so 
whenever there is like don't take value like 32 or 24 so it becomes difficult for your calculations okay so let's start with decided price of 100 so if price is 100 and first what is the first sentence it's increasing the decided price by 30 percent so he has increased the price by 30 percent so decided price is 100 so he increased price by 30 percent so what does it mean that it's increased to 130 so what is the 30 percent of 100 30 rupees right so he has added rupees 30 130 rupees so this is new mark price right <coughs> sorry so on 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 this price okay on this mark price he offers 20 percent discount so 20 percent of 130 becomes 130 into 20 by 100 that is 26 rupees right so discount offered on this price is 26 rupees so what is the selling price he's of giving is 104 130 minus 26 is equal to 104 so we know that selling price is how many how much selling price here it's 104 okay now we know that what is decided price is 100 rupees and now what he is selling at 104 so what he had got four percent than decided price so see <coughs> as as we have chosen the value of 100 upon shambar he value assume keli the amulai up the luggage 104 minik the char percent name are lila up like the easy build uh he calculate karalaki four percent ne uh decided price picture uh tala profit malila okay so always try to understand uh, that uh, we, we will take the va assumed value as 100 for any percentage things okay if value is not given then only right here the value is not given and we have to start our own calculations then try to get 100 at the base so jamapan tumhala ashe prashn etil ki aplyala fakta discount as dilela ahe ani percentage madhe ani aplyala value assume karaycha ahe tar always go for uh, 100 <coughs> sorry <laughs> okay so in any question or uh, just uh, type in chat box if you have any question or if you observe anything yeah that's good observation already promote uh, as pointed out So, uh, uh, do do I need to repeat this example four, or shall we go ahead? Um, can you write in chat box? Go ahead or repeat. Just mention in the chat box uh, whether you understood this problem. Like uh, I know this bit difficult. Okay, some uh, repeat, some are go ahead. So let's see uh, what is, whatever the majority. I will go with majority. Come on, please type in chat box. Shall I repeat the uh, exercise four or go ahead? yeah one repeat to go ahead okay i will go ahead then uh, it's not so difficult but quickly i can say that uh, it's so on on decided prices decided price of 100 is increased by 30 percent so it becomes 130 and on mark price of 130 uh, there is 20% discount. So you, you can see the 20% discount on mark price of 130. So that is 26. 
okay so selling price is 104 that is uh, 104 okay so uh, so total uh, uh, he gets is 4% more than his decided prices so that was the answer so let's go further I think, yeah, we are very near to section 9.1, uh, which will be your homework. Please try to submit homework so that I can understand that what, uh, how, how, how are you learning this stuff, right? So let's move to our exercise five. So on, on certain items, shopkeeper gives 8% discount to the customer and still he gets 15% profit. If the mark price of the item is 1750, then what is the cost of the price of the item for the shopkeeper? Okay, so this problem is a bit related to profit, uh, discount and everything. So always, um, uh, think in, in it's it's very simple it's uh, very easy if you understood right now uh, in in uh, eighth standard then it will be very useful in uh, uh, means whenever you go for ninth tenth or whatever the degree you do or wherever you work in the future so it is very very helpful for you so please try to understand that uh, there is cost okay cost is nothing but if we want to manufacture something that is the money we should in we, we have invested suppose refrigerator so refrigerator manufacturing or tela banavta na apla kai tari ek kimmat lagte tacha patra gya kiwa tacha atle body tachadi wires so tachadi cost lagte so ti aste cost ti Suppose एक जन बनवता ना त्या पूर्ण कॉस्ट पूर्ण ती तो फ्रीज तुमच्या घरी घेऊन जा राईट ती सुद्धा एक ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन कॉस्ट आहे सो एवढ्या सर्वांचा विचार करून एक एका फ्रीजची कॉस्ट ठरवलेली असते आणि कुणी पण म्हणजे कोणतंही विक्रेता असेल सो ऑल सेलर्स वॉन्ट टू अर्न सम प्रॉफिट राईट देन ओनली दे कॅन सर्वाइव फॉर देअर फूड ऑर दे कॅन बाय समथिंग सो देर इज अबव कॉस्ट देर इज selling price we know that we already mentioned selling price right so after cost he sold sell that item or refrigerator at certain price that is selling price so and there is another is mark price right mark price is always marked on that uh, thing like refrigerator or tumhala mahit asel mrp lelele asel kiwa tumhi tv gayla jal kiwa tumhi chote se biscuit se pude geta tar tema tyachar sudha lele aste mrp so tyachar the mark price aste the mark price piksha manje jar hyacha madhe mark price madhe mark price evde sela jar sell kela tar he may be in profit because always he will see that uh, selling price is manje, selling price suppose upon the surwat karya selling price shambara sale sorry uh, cost the shambara sale so always he will go for more selling price right ekshida and mark price he will keep it as 120 so always see there will be uh, difference between cost, selling price, and mark price. Sometimes mark price and selling prices are same. I mean, you have no discount. Date nahi kuni. I mean, biscuit sa pura gaya lagya la. You have no discount. So we will see that mark price is always uh, equal to selling price. So whatever he earns between this cost and selling price is goes to his profit. So free ban wala thene shambhu rupee takle still. Okay, the any sale then a extra the harp elegila the harp a hat is a profit as to okay. So, any zer selling price he is a cost picture come easily okay. The then a number of rupees are free, not number of rupees than a key goes to weekly. The tala loss zala right. So, profit and loss it depends on the cost, selling price, and mark price. So, here is are interrelated. Selling price and mark price are the difference. Ka is to discount. Okay.
so always see this how 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 these things are interrelated that's why i am telling you okay so cost and selling price hancha madla difference tharavto ki profit kiwa loss zala okay selling price ani mark price madla difference tharavto ki uh, discount ahe ki nahi hai okay so let's uh, i think uh, this is uh, i feel it's much clear now so let's move to the problem so shopkeeper gives 8% discount to the customer still he gets 15% profit so discount and profit are different terms okay so if the mark price of the item is 1750 so we have just mentioned that cost selling price and mark price okay so we will go one by one so mark price of the item is 1750 so they have given the mark price of 1750 okay so how much discount he is offering on the uh, this object is 8% so we can see the discount is 8% so what is total discount we know the 1750 into 8 by 100 is equal to rupees 140 discount he has offered then a discount kiti dile 140 rupees so what is the selling price of the item we know that uh, mark price minus discount gives us selling price okay so mark price minus selling price gives us a discount we know this formula okay so selling price of the item is 1750 minus 140 is equal to 1610 so profit now this is what we got selling price right now let's see uh, how much cost price so profit given is 15% so hence if the cost price of the 100 then selling price is 115 right the, the way we mentioned uh, then what is the selling price of rupees 115 for the cost price is rupees 100 so uh, 15% is profit right so for the 100 rupees of cost how much is selling price 115 it's selling price so this is just we are assuming okay so we know that for the 100 rupees of cost selling price is 115 so what will be the uh, what will be the cost for the when the selling price is 1610 so we know the formula x by 100 is equal to 1610 divided by 115 so what does it gives is 1400 so it's general like uh, we can observe that if we do some mistakes this value 1400 as here it is mentioned it mention kele like ha profit hai barobar hai 15% profit the profit asel the selling price peksha cost hi nehmi kami aste barobar hai cost hi nehmi kami aste selling price peksha so aplyala kiti selling price kiti aleli apli 1610 और 1610, so 1610 पेक्षा कॉस्ट कितनी है? सावधानी, ही कमी है, right? <coughs> Sorry, so तुम्ही काट लेला आंसर बरोबर आए, ये अपन क्वालिटीटिवली सांगुष शक्तो, मनुन कॉस्ट ही नहीं मी, सेलिंग प्राइस पेक्षा कमी अस्ते जवा आप लेला प्रॉफिट होतो, कदी कदी इते ती लोगों चेंज करता था नहीं इते सांगता कि लॉस, okay? Then in case of loss then we may have to change this formulation so we have to be very very clear okay so i will give you one uh, instead of uh, okay instead of uh, i will give you one minute to solve this instead of this 15% profit if a shopkeeper has got 15% loss right so we have to change the formulation here only so can you write down the answer for that i will i will give you one minute just try to just try it i'm i'm not uh, expecting that you should answer but yeah try it so now we understood that 
bit, uh, if selling price is more than cost, it is profit. But what is the cost if he has earned the 15% loss? Okay. <coughs> Please type in the chat box. Okay, I think <clears throat> it's maybe difficult for you guys, but I will I will give you the a brief overview. <clears throat> so see, till now we were solving with uh, percent uh, sorry profit, right? So now we will try to solve with loss. So instead of uh, instead of getting here uh, this formulation, so for the hundred rupees of cost, we are getting. 15% loss that is 85 right so this formulation will change i'm sorry okay so x divided by 100 into 1610 divided by 85 okay so x will be what will be the x so it comes around means this is made up for problems so there may not be a right answer but somewhere around 1894 so we know that 1894 is selling price which is more than the cost right so this is the cost so we know that uh, 1894 is cost and 1610 is selling price. So selling price is 1610 and the cost is 1894. So we know that that seller has earned a loss. Okay. So uh, I I hope uh, you you would have understood this uh, problem, but uh, we will repeat it again for the next time. Okay, so till then, uh, take care, uh, stay safe, be happy. Okay, okay, thank you. Have a great evening. Uh, we will see you next time, and uh, homework is 9.1.